Good afternoon, everyone. Deborah Wheaton with Careers Done Right. I hope you're doing great and staying safe and healthy. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about sharpening your digital skills and upping your job search game. As recently as about 25 years ago, I would say searching for a job was pretty simple. You would ask around. You probably would look in the newspaper, of all things. What's that? It's like a long magazine. Huh? It's like the internet made out of a tree. Oh. Weird. You might even stop by a company's office to see if they had any openings and drop off a resume. But by 1998, the old way of looking for a job was gone. And it's gone. Uh, what? The primary new method of looking for work was the internet. Stopping into an office to drop off a resume, that was really falling out of favor and so 1990s. <gasps> Vintage! So adorable. Of course, you know all of this. You also know that digital tools are essential for a job search. So why aren't you maximizing new job search tools to your benefit? Why are you still using analog methods in a digital economy? The first thing you need to do is conduct research. Yes, research, and I know I talk about that a lot. And it's undeniable that this is super important. But it would be best if you also spend some time researching your target fields and your industry so that you understand what the challenges for both are and how you can help a company solve their problems. You also need to research compensation. You're hired. Now about your pay. I'm hoping this might entice you to come aboard. Woohoo! Simply stating you want an increase of X percent or giving a $10,000 number over where you currently are today is not very strategic. Why would you base your future salary on what someone is paying you currently? Find out what the market rate is. For someone with your experience level, education, and other factors, there are things you can look up online to help you with this. Where did you get all these nice things? Uh, internet. Next up, social media. There are billions of social media users out there. Only a small portion of them, however, are your target audience, a potential employer. Your role as a job seeker is to engage with them. Build your brand on social media platforms, focusing on LinkedIn as the primary outlet. Along with your social media strategy, you want to plan for search engine optimization. That's right, optimizing keywords and other things on your LinkedIn profile to make sure they represent a good match. It is about the keywords which provide context for who you are and what you do. Be sure that your LinkedIn profile is a personal website of sorts that's optimized with appropriate keywords in your field. Finally, create and share your digital content. You can have an online presence without native content, but your brand will be weak and non-competitive. You need to up your game. Digital content can range in type and form from video to infographics to long-form written content and everything in between. It doesn't need to be complicated, but it has to be consistent. You want people to engage with you, so you want to give them something to which they can react. Digital skills are critical to nearly every job these days. They're also crucial to your job search. For more information on digital job search and networking sites, check out the website that I link in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and share. Here's to the right career for you.